Straw Hut Media. It's 111 today. That means that's a great day for manifestation for the whole entire year because it's also a new moon today, just so everybody knows. It's 111 and a new moon. Well, I love in Capricorn, it means letting go of the past and setting yourself up and, and actually letting go and getting rid of your fears for the things that you're trying to manifest. So you should put your goals and then put what your fears are, and that's actually what you're trying to manifest out, just so you know, because that's great for you. No, I like that. I was going to actually say that reminds me, what are your intentions for 2024? What are my intentions? Yeah, today? like setting your intentions now because we are at the beginning of a year. We got a deep dive into like, mm -hmm. what do we want for ourselves? Like mentally, spiritually. I made a list last night, actually, because ah. I was doing the whole thing that I do at night. And I actually I was making like my fears and my goals and stuff and... Should we save it for the podcast? Or is that, is oh, that well, just- I thought we were on oh, the podcast. Oh, we're rolling? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't do your- <laughs> Okay, yeah. ready? Don't get my okay. moon shit. Okay, I'll do, all, no. I'll do all that again. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was good. <laughs> yeah. I never know with these guys, because you know, sometimes it's just rolling. Okay. Hey, guys, welcome back. <laughs> you are here with your favorite heartbreakers, and we are here with our favorite heartbreakers, listening to us, listening to you on the hotline yeah. oh you like how i did that <laughs> yeah. ah, that was a good one this yay. time that was clear you weren't slurring thank you, you were <laughs> slurring <laughs> well i do have constant strokes i'm on a lot of medication no, i'm just kidding. oh stop you scared uh, me for a second i was like what <laughs> i want to wear that lipstick you're wearing it <laughs> is it. so cute i can almost see myself in it it's so do it. Wear yeah. some. <laughs> okay next time so make sure you're subscribing to us you guys bitches we need you on youtube spotify apple everywhere you get your pods make sure you click the subscribe and comment we love the comments and don't forget to check out endeavor otc in the link that we have posted for you for you, all your adhd treatment needs and wants because you want to be centered and you want to be able to remember what you're doing when mm -hmm. you're walking around with the phone in your hand and looking for the phone and it's also <laughs> a prescription yes. it's a prescription that's not a pill yes everything that's great. not drugs we are into yes. hugs not drugs yes Give yourself a hug. Pugs? You said pugs or hugs? Pugs, oh, not drugs. Oh, I thought you said pugs Just get for yourself a second. some pugs and then return them at the end of the day when you feel better. No, keep them. <laughs> After Christmas. Oh, no. no Let's not stop even get into me. Okay. Give them to oh you. Oh, my God. Speaking, yes. I was going to tell you what happened to Trudy. Trudy almost died. No. She got into rat poisoning while I was at Disney. Oh. I went to Disney and I didn't take her to under the wolf because she's so expensive. I let her go to where she usually goes and the lady left out rat poison. She got into it, was in the hospital, got a lot of rat poison, almost no. died. And I remember I was sitting at Disney and I remember crying to my sister and like she told me the next day, she's like, I can't ever hear you cry like that again. But I was like, my mental health is really going to be affected if I come home and Trudy's dead. And I, oh, all I was trying to do was spend time. Makes me like have to like cry thinking uh. about it. But like, I was like, if I am just trying to have a good time with my friends finally, and the fact that I've left and my dog is gonna die, fucked me up no. in the head, but she ended up being okay. She's still on a lot of medication. What were her symptoms? Like, how did you even find out? Did she call you the, and say- The lady texted and she was like, Trudy got into rat poisoning. We're at the hospital. And I looked at it and I just called my sister right away. And I was like, you're going to have to talk to her because I don't have anything nice to say. Like, you know that you were uh. getting my dogs and you shouldn't have rat poisoning out. I don't have anything to say. I understand accidents happen, but Trudy's my favorite. Yeah. I say that when they people come and get her. I'm like, don't let anything happen to Trudy, please. Don't let her run. Don't let her get into bees. She's high she maintenance. She had the bee incident not that long ago. Almost died Poor on her birthday. Shoots. On oh her birthday, God. that happened. I, yeah. I don't even know. I mean, I wouldn't. I would be beside myself. It was myself. really upsetting. Did they say that what they did at the vet? Like, did you then end up um, meeting her? She was on a lot of medication to get rid of the poison in her. I know that they oh, gave her an, an IV. IV. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. I was really upset. Well, was she's really okay, upset. though. And you know, lucky she she's young. 
Yeah, absolutely. If she was absolutely. Older. And she's sturdy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, she's she's you know like a I mean? yeah. yeah. And she's she came back when I came home. She was worse than she's ever been. I was like, yeah. well, like she's on steroids. She's like the rat poison only <laughs> yes. made me stronger. She's on steroids <laughs> to help or something like that. And I was like, steroids, great. great. She's, she already has <laughs> yes, biceps great. bigger than mine. Great. Oh and she was so God. wild. She still is really wild. I don't know if I'm just letting her get away with it because <laughs> of it. But yeah, that's my Trudy story. I was heartbroken when I tell you. I was like shaking like like this i got off of a ride at disney and i was like i just can't I just did you can't leave disney after that or like, no i had my it? sister because what i would tell myself is I, just, like, oh, I yeah what am i supposed to do like good life has to keep going you know mm-hmm. what i mean i'm very against now living in the past i really tried to stay mm-hmm, present mm-hmm. so that's that oh, well um i was gonna say we should set our intentions for the year yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a positive note. Um, what do we want to set? What I mean, are it's your the, intentions? I would like to be more in the present moment. I would like to see myself love myself enough to let somebody in that uh, and be loved. And yeah, just find more balance, I think, is really a big thing. But also, you know what? Not being so hard on myself and getting caught up in the way that I look. Mm It's like, I just am so mean to myself. I would never be mean to anyone else in the world. So I should stop being so mean. Absolutely. Yeah. No, absolutely. So I'll try and work on that this year. I'll just keep it short like that and just work on self-love. And what about you? I actually, because I have a list on my phone, actually, because I've been doing my my thing. So let me see. I'm not going to share all of them. Oh, I want to grow my career and brand Mm -hmm. further, of course. I want to make sure that the people in my life are honest and good people. That's really a priority for me this year is having good, well-grounded, safe people to be around. Love and respect for myself. Mm -hmm. I really want to take care of my mental stability this year. There's some other things on there, but... Oh, tell me the naughtiest one. <laughs> no, there's no naughty okay. stuff. There's just stuff that I just want. I just need to keep private I, until they're uh, done You reminded handled. me of one. <laughs> I want to reiterate that, like, because as an adult, and I've said this before, like, I want to go out of my way to make more friends. So this happened to me the other day, okay? You know, I go to those meetings mm-hmm. and, like, it's, like, group therapy sharing and stuff. So there's this one on a Saturday. I go to it every week. People can put their name in a bowl and they go and share, but I've never done that, right? I just have never been in a place where I wanted to. It's a big meeting, too, so, like, nerve-wracking. Not, yeah. Anyway. And you're they're like that's mine yeah. Yeah. and then every now and then i'll be like oh why don't i make more friends here like i just get out of there straight away i enjoy the meeting it's great i feel mm-hmm. good but like i don't stick around and make any friends and then sometimes i'll catch myself being like why isn't anyone like trying to be my friend <laughs> like it's weird because i'm not making any effort but then the other day someone tells me like that i know outside of that room because I was like, oh, that guy's much nicer than I thought when I heard him share. I was like, you know, he seemed a little... And he goes, oh, you should hear what people say about you. And I was like, oh, my God, really? What did he I say? was like, anyone from our group? And he goes, no, like, because that's a group from outside of there. And then he goes, no, no, people that don't know you. Like, I was like, yeah, because I've never shared in here. No one would even know me. And he said, yeah, they say you're conceited and that you really upped yourself it's- and that you, like, are such a... Like, why do you hang out with him? It's crazy how when you keep to yourself, then that means yeah. that you're conceited and a mean person. I had to really yeah. learn that because I like to keep to my self a lot and like what's the word when you're mysterious to people they don't know how to understand it what it's so, so weird it's supposed to be a non-judgmental place and also yeah get out of here just take we're supposed yeah. to be healthy people and also if i'm too nervous to strike up a conversation with new people and i'm just keeping my i'm keeping to myself because i want to get to a place where like i feel like okay now i'll go out of my way to make like i'm just not there i would have said you know what i actually yeah. changed my mind about you you're actually not a nice person <laughs> but thank you for sharing that <laughs> you find me to be a threat yeah. that's what i would well, he said multiple say, people have said it. I was like, wow. Thanks I've for literally, gossiping. Yeah. Like we're just. Like, how, I've I never said a word in here. No one meeting, has ever heard me say a word. Why meeting, do I? meeting when you're all in the circle, raise your <laughs> hand if you were the people that talked crap about me. Because <laughs> yeah, so and so right here just wanted to uh, the, share that with me. So I, I don't feel know safe so in bad. this like, safe environment. I even want to text <laughs> the guy like so much and just be like, so who was it exactly? Like I need to know. I say uh, call it out. Call it out. Whatever. It's silent. Excuse me. I I thought maybe that could be my first chair. I'll put my name in the wall and be like, well, so just because I'm quiet and I'm actually nervous about meeting new people, that does not equate me with being someone that is You should do it. You should do it. You know I'm in support of like toxicness. (laughs) It's enough that I'm coming here to this stranger meeting and listening (laughs) to all these things and walking into places that I don't know anyone. And then I have to hear that. Like, I'm certainly not going to open up now. No, (laughs) hell no. Super rude. I would seriously call people out. Yeah. I Anywho. love doing that. I love putting people on the spot and they're like, oh, but I, I, I. 
Well, also you know, don't tell me like to that person. Cause I was like, I was kind of like, oh, I really do like to know. Cause you know, you- how did you word it to him? Did you word it rude to him first? And that's no, why you had no, to No, I was that? like, oh yeah, I go, it's so weird because I'm always like doing self-evaluation. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. I had a weird thought about that guy. He always walks in late in the middle of like stopping the meeting to like walk in. I, I thought he he's, was a dickhead. He was projecting. Yeah. He was projecting. So I was like, <laughs> but he's really nice when you hear him. Over. I said, it's so crazy. The stories you can come up with your head about someone that you don't know. And he goes, oh, you should hear what everyone says about you. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I didn't need to know that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, ouch. But then I was like, who are they? Which ones? I need names. Anyway, people don't know. They come up with their own stories because they're also insecure and they're like, well, he's not trying to talk to me. So then I'm going to be mad at him. But I thought everyone was supposed to be a bit more woke than I am in that meeting. Not woke. And further along developed. I'm anyway. such a grudge holder. I don't care. I'll call people out on shit a year later. There's people that try to contact me now and I'll be like, I remember <laughs> five years ago when you said this about me. I really remember mm. it and I'm not forgiving it and I'm not moving past it. <laughs> like, that's it. And like, I will die with that. Yes. <laughs> and so will I'll you. forever be angry. It makes me happy to be angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> Simple pleasures. All right, let's get into the hotline. Heartbreakers hotline. You've let's got see. all the questions for us. I think I have a delayed ejaculation problem. Help. Since I've lost my virginity, ejaculating for me has been difficult. Only during sex, not so much during masturbation, which I do admit to doing a few times a week. I do ejaculate during sex most of the time, but one, it takes an age to, it takes an age to happen. I think that's a typo. Uh -huh, it takes uh -huh. a while to happen. It's a lot of hard work for it to happen. Do you guys know anyone who struggles with this? Do you guys have any tips to make it easier or better during sex? We all finish ourselves off in the end. It is hard. When you get yourself used to masturbating and coming a certain way, it's completely different than sex. I've had to do that myself. I've actually had to detox from like masturbating because it became so difficult. And honestly, masturbating a few times a week can really desensitize you. I'm not against it. I'm yeah. just saying it could cause it desensitize that. desensitize you. Huh. For sure for me. But I'm mm. a female. I use like vibrating yeah. things. I think it also can desensitize a man. One, I'm pro watching porn. Everybody yeah. knows that. But I think if you watch too much of it, it can desensitize you in yeah. a lot of ways when it comes to being with somebody. It's hard to get turned on because you're not used to it. You're so used to the screen. And then when you're jerking a certain way, it's hard to it's a pussy's different than your hand i would actually only masturbate once a week and because people get can. used to doing it so quick masturbation is much quicker than it having like regular sex because you're not going to like go oh i'm going to start going slower with myself <laughs> like yeah you know. so he says that he can but yeah. it takes a while to yes. happen and it takes a lot of work to happen yeah i would take a step back from just ejaculating overall will really let yourself become more sensitive again so you you don't struggle as much i'm telling you i used to really struggle having orgasms and then i took a 30-day break of orgasms in general take a month off i can come yeah. really quick now yeah. hmm, how quick like really quick how quick is the like quickest couple like depends what's happening seconds to me. Um, Why are we girls oral? even want guys like, if they could just come in seconds sure. from a vibrator? Or if somebody is doing oral on me, I can come quick. Right now. It doesn't matter what their tongue size is. Does, do people have small tongues? Do people have different tongues? Um, like, does it make a difference? I'm trying to think. Or what if they harden their tongue too much and then it's Oh, yeah, I don't like tongue. that. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't like when it's like a pointy well, hard tongue because yeah. some people eat out like... And I'm yeah. like, why are you doing that? Well, actually, go, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, people do like, that. Yeah, oh, God, punchy. one of my ex-husbands used to do that. Uh. And it used to really piss me off. I used to not let him eat me up. Um, <laughs> no kitty. I don't like the hard tongue. Some people don't know how to eat. No. I don't like when people eat me out. Next question. So I've been sharing a room with my roommate for three years now while at university, and we have become absolutely best mates. We both get along well and are comfortable with each other's presence. After the first year of sharing a room, he confronted me and asked if I would feel comfortable if he jerked off in his own bed instead of going to the toilet each time. How many times is this happening? At first, I didn't know what to say, but I mean, I miss the pleasure of doing it in my own bed too. I told him, yeah, it would be okay as long as he uses headphones and tries to do it under the sheet so it can be as least noticeable as possible. 
feeling like this was a normal thing to do. I told my cousin about it during the holiday break because that's what you do <laughs> and insisted <laughs> that this was crazy. Is this normal or have my roommate and I's boundaries gotten too thin? That's hot. It's so That's- fucking hot. I knew you would think this is hot. It's so hot. Are you guys thinking uh, it's hot too? These gay guys I, in the background. Um, oh, sorry, not Ryan. I, uh, <laughs> I look, I, again, gay porn, but, or semi. But this is I so will at, they, won't they situation. I look at roommates catching their roommate masturbating secretly and recording them and putting like really, porn? Yeah, really oh, yeah, amateur. Yeah. It's really hard to find. Like, cause oh, I want it to, to look, That's what I, was I want thinking. it to I'm look like, really you watch legit this? or like a, or like a um, secret camera type of thing. But I really like when it's two male best friends and one's yeah. jerking off and the other one's acting like he doesn't. It doesn't realize. Um, and then also sometimes he'll reach his hand over and be like, okay. I'll yeah, just. exactly. Well, they're joking uh, in front of each other, but they're not really like, it's just has to be like, this is that. So thank you for this question. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, this is you because you love to jerk off in front of people. So <laughs> how, how would you? you? How would you? Uh, that never happened. Don't watch the episode. <laughs> whatever that you? was. Um, okay, so I think that this guy, by the way, bringing this up to this guy and making such a deal of it and being like, "Is it okay if I do this?" He's baiting you. He wants you. I'm really? getting some nodding heads in the background. So yeah, okay. he's baiting you. Okay. You don't need to bring this shit up, and you also don't need to do it in your bed right there. Like you're just <laughs> yeah. wait. Can't you do it in your bed when the person? not in yeah. the room also if you really miss your masturbating yeah. in your bed or you bed, just do it secretly or... and not even tell them and then wait for them to call you out on it you don't need to bring it up <laughs> oh, in God, conversation no. <laughs> yeah, i'm just trying to find more ways that i can masturbate in front of people without them saying no oh god i'm a sickie okay so anyway i'm gonna mess around i think podcast. that you're right he's baiting him and seeing if he'll come and touch him and stuff he wants and, you to. and so if this roommate is not comfortable well it sounds like he was comfortable at he first wants to with do it, it too. until somebody else yeah. has said okay that's weird yeah i think this day and age you're allowed to decide what's weird or not yeah. for you if it's not weird for your roommate to jerk off next to you then it's just not weird yeah but if it's making you feel weird then say you know what i've changed my mind yeah yeah. Do you mind going to the bathroom? That's the only real way you've already opened up the door. You make your boundaries, okay? So yeah. you can't ask someone else, is this like good or bad or whatever? I mean, the boundaries got thin. They definitely have. Mm. That's clear. I mean, but your roommate definitely wants you to do something with him. Yeah. I so I that, would explore yeah. whether you guys like each other or not. And then send actually. us a clip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so hot. But like, make sure that you don't like get into it too quickly because we want to pretend that it's like accidentally happening <laughs> yeah, and you um, don't really want no, it to know, happen. You know what? No. There's straight happen. men that only messed around in college when they were roommates together yeah. oh. and they're all going to go and get married <laughs> and live these happy families and then happy lives. Where and do you then watch when these they, videos of them seeing each other accidentally? Just type in friend it's catches friend masturbating. It. Straight type makes you type in they straight disappear. guys. Like, whenever I'm thinking about it and I'll go, well, no, I just mean like, where's my history? I'm like, I type it in and it I don't like to rewatch stuff. Oh. So I never rewatch anything. Isn't that weird that you don't want to? Like, it is weird. I don't go back to a lot of things. No, like, I never do. You got to watch a new one. It's like. Can be yeah. very similar. Can we're look real almost sluts the- at that point because, like, we yeah. only want one and done. Yeah. And then we're like, on to the next. I've already done you. <laughs> oh. I would explore if you guys like each other. Seriously. Yeah. And Elsa likes it. So I love it's it. okay. It's my favorite thing. It's okay. I drunkenly <laughs> admitted it to somebody and he brought it back up to me. He's like, who oh, I was talking about that movie. Um, Salt, salt burn. burn. Yeah. I was like, you should watch Salt Burn. I was like, if you're comfortable with a yeah. little bit of like gay yeah. sex what or whatever, say? he was like, oh, your favorite. So I oh, must. Have- everyone knows now. <laughs> you're getting a reputation <laughs> for not liking these things. Should we go to hot topics? Oh or- wait, we have some more questions on the back of that one. I don't like this front to back thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to hot topics, Elsa Jean. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Don't change the subject, just answer the fucking question. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Hot Topics. An influencer filmed herself taking off her panties and sitting bare-assed on a bed in Ikea. 
A Taiwanese influencer filmed herself taking off the red thong under a skirt using to tie her hair back. What is with these people using their underwear to tie their hair back? Pamela Anderson did it, so oh. now they all want to do it. Oh, now I kind of like it then. Yeah. Pammy did it. <laughs> it's good enough for Pammy. And the next episode, I come back with my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it's not her first time doing this kind of stunt. Oh, she also took her top off in the Louvre. Um, if reactions are divided, some think it's funny and daring, others find it gross and inappropriate. Well, she's in an Ikea, so what's your opinion of her stunt? Is this the dumbest stunt you've seen? What is she trying to get? She's just trying to get media attention. Well, I think that exposing people to things in public, like getting Mm. naked. I'm very against exposing yourself where there could be children around. So I don't agree with going to Ikea, taking your underwear off and sitting your bare ass on a bed where other people are also going to sit down on and test out. Mm. I think it's actually disgusting. I think it's disrespectful. I think if you're going to leave a snail trail somewhere, do it at a strip (laughs) club. Where they're already sitting bare ass places. I just, (laughs) I see, I think you need to have, if you want to be sexual and you want to do these stunts and all these things, there there needs to be boundaries and safe boundaries and you need to not be exposing people who are not asking to be exposed. I'm very against it. I saw an Instagram the other day of this guy on Hollywood Boulevard and he was thrusting his like pants and letting his dick like flop in his pants. And okay, even if it was funny, like people were writing comments, which make total sense, which is what about people walking there with their kids taking photos of the thing? They have to be exposed to your thing, whether it's right or wrong or whatever. Like these are kids with their parents and you're flopping your dick. I don't agree with it. Yeah. I think it's disgusting. For I've social seen, media likes. I've seen a lot of things of people like filming because everybody has an OnlyFans now. People filming on their balcony having sex and they have their tripods up and the lady says out the window my kids can see what you're doing like why are you doing this Mm -hmm. it's illegal Mm -hmm. actually you could actually go to jail you have to register yourself as a sex offender which can completely mess up your whole entire life so i don't like it don't like it scrap it it. (laughs) let's hate it and burn it um there's a new tiktok trend that is pop psychologists and influencers are advising how to get over someone you have never dated Someone you've never dated. I love this. There are dozens of videos of people explaining how to forget a crush or someone you've never dated or even talked to. That's real. Gym crushes, work crushes, celebrities. It is real. That's real. I never even thought about that because that can be sometimes just as hard if you really like fantasize Mm. about somebody. Yeah, you're dating them in your head. Yeah, I do that. I do that so many times. And then sometimes (laughs) I'll actually be genuinely or if you see someone and you you see them in real life. Like, you know, you've seen them on TV or something and then they're there in life and then you we walk away from them and you're like, oh, you you're like genuinely like, but we were, yeah, I know <laughs> it feels weird. You're like, oh, no, I didn't take the opportunity to talk to my boyfriend. Yeah, now. Not yeah my we boyfriend. To, yeah, my boyfriend. Um, I think that the ways to get rid of people that I like that, that you have never dated. Unfollow I, them. I, I follow them. Yeah. yeah you got to put up strict boundaries. Mm. Like this is a fantasy. Mm. I'm not actually dating them. I, I do, do it so every day. People. Yeah. Every day in my DMs. I'm yeah. Like, my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how they become your boyfriend if you say it out loud. That's what I tell <laughs> myself. <laughs> uh, well, on that note, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Subscribing and commenting and liking is what you do on all of our channels. That is the best. Puts us out. And we also have our ADHD game. Yes. Endeavor OTC. Yes. Check it out. Go and give it a whirl and let us know what you think Mm because we love it. And if you want to keep up with our fast paced society and the fact that Sorry, Ryan's yelling at me because I was about to rip the paper in front of me on the microphone. See you later, guys. (laughs) Ha <laughs> ha.